Hello viewers, welcome back. I'm coming back with yet another magnetic motor system. This time the inventor is Harold Elmore and his patent is called Magnetic Motor Propulsion System. This is the patent on my right side, the image represents it and you will see how it looks like inside. It's not something special but yet maybe a little bit different than other systems. But you will see. So, without any further waiting, I present you Harold Elmore Magnetic Motor. Alright, so this is the Harold Elmore Magnetic Motor. So, I will not take much of your time, because time is precious and nobody has much free of it these days. So, let me start from the scratch and be very quick. So, this yellow would be, of course, our output generator or alternator, which will produce free energy. Let's now focus on the magnetic motor and or magnetic motor propulsion system, how it's called in the patent. So, nothing special, so we have uh, supports for the motor and now we of course must have st stator and a rotor. As you can see, uh, the main shaft will spin on these bearings, which are on the front and back side of the, of the motor, yeah, so that's, that's the main shaft. So magnetic, uh, so rotor will spin on, on this uh, shaft. And of course now we will explore what's on the rotor and st stator. As you can see now the strange situation is that the, these are of course the magnets. These three sets of magnets actually protrude or coming out of the uh, stator. Why would that be? I'm really not sure. Maybe because the construction would be easier. Because in the pattern it's explained that the housing or the stator housing can be of aluminum. Yeah? So nothing special here. But yet what is interesting is that um, uh, the citation of the pattern is that, uh, uh, that he, he actually speaks about uh, Christopher Gitson magnetic motor. Uh, but just mention it in the citation of the pattern. So that means that of course he would like to have the magnetic shielding. Would, would that be magnetic shielding of these magnets which are on the, on the stator or he will shield the rotor magnets? So let's step inside to see what would be maybe better. So if I isolate now the stator housing and these screws uh, not to block us. So now we are left with the stator with the stator magnets, this in the air and the rotor magnets. So, as I now written this, let's say, grey magnets would be, uh, this would be the North Pole. Grey uh, in these magnets and grey on this uh, rotor would be the uh, uh, like poles, so they will repel each other. And you can see here what's the, what's the advantage is that uh, the best possible angle should be used to, uh, to repel these two magnets. And of course this uh, black one would be uh, the opposing, um, opposing pole or the, or the opposite pole. And I assume because the Christopher Gitson uh, magnetic motor which uses Mu metal was mentioned in the patent or in the citation of the patent that he would uh, let's say block this uh, black or uh, opposite pole of the magnets on the rotor with magnetic shielding material to actually uh, not to lose the momentum or, or that the opposing magnetic field does not stop the magnetic motor. And that's basically all of it. Yeah? You can see it's very very simple uh, in, in theory. Yeah? So it does have uh, the housing, the, the stator, which, which magnets are coming out of the stator housing for maybe for purpose of easier mounting and the, the body of the magnetic motor, stator and the rotor would be out of aluminium so that the, there is a light weight. And everything else, my dear viewers, here is nothing special. It's a typical magnetic motor which I would assume would stop immediately, not even after some time, but, the, uh, but please feel free to read the patent, uh, patent because the link of the patent from the Google Patents page is in the description below and you will see uh, that there are not too many information available. So that's it for Harold Elmore, until next video stay tuned on my channel, bye bye.